Hey guys, I've got uh, my Model X pulled apart to change the cabin air filter. It has started smelling really bad in here. Um, so I checked the filter and the filter's fine. It has no smell on it. It's clean. I'll, I mean, I went through all of it to get into there, so I'm going to replace it. Um, just out of sheer, you know, I don't want to tear the whole thing apart again if the filter gets dirty a little bit. But what I'm getting at in this video is to clean the radiator or the heater core and the evaporator. So what I'm going to do is um, to get in, you know, to the spot that I'm at to where I'm going to use the cleaner. You can check I've got another video on how to get into the cabin air filter. But after that, what I did is I pulled this trim piece off of the center console. Once that was off, then I removed the carpet, and the carpet's the same as like Model 3 video that I have, but you pretty much just reach underneath, pop it along the edge, and then it will come out. This is what it looks like from behind. So you'll see there's, you know, a couple of the metal clips that hold it into place, and then these are just kind of guides. Um, this, I don't know, it looks like a screw or something would go there, but that lines up with this metal, so doesn't make a lot of sense so anyway I pulled that out once I had the carpet out I pulled the plastic piece from under here and then that gave me access to these two small screws that are on the side of that I believe it's a temperature sensor but that box right there what I'm gonna do is I'm running my heater now to heat up the heater core heat up the whole system dry out all the mold and mildew or whatever Gonna running the heater for 10 minutes. After the 10 minute time has passed, I'm gonna pull that out. And then I've got a coil cleaner too that just goes on the top of the can of coil cleaner. One of my friends lent me this. So I'll put that on the can and I'll put the tube in there going that way and then spray it all over that um, evaporator and heater core. So that's the plan and then just let it sit for 10 minutes and put the system back together again and hopefully it doesn't smell like dirty diapers anymore in here so hopefully that's helpful to you what I ended up doing to get that screw out I went from the top on this side and I went from the bottom on that side and then that, that made it so I could get those two screws out on a Model S it seems like you have enough room but for some reason on the Model X, whatever this is, it's just high enough that you can't get straight out that second screw. So from going down below, it worked a lot better. So. Anyway, let me know if that's helpful. That's the uh, full self-driving computer. So if you, if you ever have one of these go out, that's where it's sitting. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that matters in here, but that's the biggest one. And then, you know, your blower motor, I've got another video on how to replace that. That's pretty easy. You just do screws from underneath. And then there's the, the air filter. So, thanks for watching.